In our last session, we did a quick introduction to the training series, and we took a look at the workspace and moving around inside of the work environment in CorelDRAW. The next thing I want to do is let's take a look at what is CorelDRAW. CorelDRAW is a graphics suite. It's comprised primarily of two major applications. One is CorelDRAW, and the other is Corel Photo Paint. And here I have my Corel Box X Suite graphics box open in Corel Photo Paint. I'm going to bring some objects into Draw and we can take a look at them and let's make an analysis of what Corel Draw is and also what are the two primary objects or types of graphics that we'll be working with in Corel Draw. And off of these two simple types of graphics, we can move forward in our training series and we can see just how easy it is to actually work with Corel Draw and also how easy it is to work in graphic design once you have a foundation in the Corel Draw graphics suite. I'm going to go to my advanced tools, I'll go to Design Base. I've done a search for cars here and I'm just going to bring a car in. I'll double click on this and I'll select import to current document. And there we have a Camaro setup that we traced and it looks almost photographic but actually it's all vector. Next to that I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my CorelDRAW graphic 6 suite box here. And we'll take a look at these two. I'm going to go to view and wireframe now our Camaro is comprised entirely of vector except for the drop shadow which is an effect from CorelDRAW but you can see what we have here is wireframe objects. If I go ahead and click on this and I'll go ahead and move this over here and just right click and select ungroup all. We'll be able to see that these objects are just vector objects. The entire Camaro is just vector objects organized on top of each other to create the look of the highlight and shading in the vehicle. Let's go back to view and enhanced. For example, this vector object right here that looks like the highlighting on the front quarter panel is really just a vector object that's filled with white and has some transparency applied to it. Let's take a look at what a vector object is and we'll zoom in here and we can see these red dots and these little squares which are nodes and these are actual line segments or curves attached to nodes and these can be filled with color if I want to make this a red looking highlight I could fill it with red and it would look like my Camaro had some red reflection in it. Go over here and click and change that back to a white and the key to understanding vector is understanding how these nodes and lines work and then the key to understanding how to work in Corel Draw is to understand how to work with all the tools Draw has and how to work with lines and nodes and vector shapes. Now let's take a look at the CorelDRAW Graphics Suite X6 box. We'll zoom in here and take a look at this. And what we can see what we have here is is this is comprised of pixels and not vector objects. And we manipulate these differently. We manipulate these objects, which are pixels, with Corel Photo Paint. However, we have many of Corel Photo Paint's functionality available directly in Corel Draw. And here, and here. So if I want to edit pixels, I'm going to use the tools from Photo Paint. If I want to edit vector, I'm going to use the tools from Draw. But I'm going to work with them together. And editing pixels is different than editing vector. And we'll see that in this training series. I'm going to go ahead and wrap here and we want to keep in mind that we're working with two types of objects. Vector objects or raster objects, bitmap objects, which are comprised of pixels.